good, man. Hey, Thursday we in Florida. Don't get much better than this, man. Big game coming up, man. Man, my practice cleats, man. It's my um, practice nines. You know, I be trying to hit them every week with something different. Done. Dun dollar, dun dollar. Yeah, got a lot of dun dollar. Hey, it's kind of chill, man. You know, most everybody kind of ready to get back to California, but hey, uh, you can't beat the weather out here. It's good at this time of year. It's just been a good vibe. Everybody's just really focused on playing the game, really. Another day, man, to get this hard work in so we can have fun on Sunday and get that victory, man. That's all that matters. We just win, baby. Uh, we're right here in uh, Bradenton, Bradenton, Bradenton uh, issue of Fast Friday. All right, so we're uh, we're ready to roll. We've had a good week of practice here, and uh, guys have been on point, been very purposeful about our work in preparing to uh, to play the Bucks and uh, you know, getting familiar with them. So it's been a real productive week that way, and uh, looking forward to the challenges on Sunday. Questions? Yeah, Bucks coaches ask fans not to give lower bowl seats to the Raider fans. Have you noticed? I'm obviously you noticed the Raider fans. Yeah. On the road. How big a presence are they? A big presence. Yeah, we we uh, we really uh, appreciate their support. You know, they do it. They do a tremendous job. Our fans travel uh, wherever we've been thus far. They've been there in, in large numbers, and uh, I think it'll be the same. So, come on out, Raider, Raider Nation. We're excited about it. Yeah, Mario out here now. Get him out on the side doing any side work. Yeah, just on the side until we get the clearance for him to join us in practice. Uh, he'll continue to do with the uh, with the trainers. Wait, was, was he out there on the side today? Did he do anything? Um, like I said, he's with the trainers. He's not. Yeah. He's not been. Yeah. I've not been given the green light, so uh, he'll continue to work with them until until we get that green light. With Stacy out, Jack, how important is it for, the, for somebody else to step up in the middle, from the interior of the defensive line, to get pressure on that on that quarterback? Yeah, very important. You know, Stacy's been playing really good football for us. Uh, he's banged up this week. I think uh, uh, more likely next week for us with him. Uh, but uh, yeah, next guy up. That's what we do. You know, uh, Darius Latham will play more. Danico will play more. Uh, Big Dan will play more. So um, those guys, yeah, do their thing. We expect to play good defense, and uh, we know we've got our challenges this week. In Sarasota, Florida is where we find our Raiders insider, Scott Bear. And let's start with Alden Smith, Scott, on the news that he have applied for reinstatement. What is the next step for him? He, he has to prove to NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell that he's passed a number of very stringent guidelines according to the NFL's substance abuse policy. And he went to rehab this summer, and all indications are that he is working very hard to get back in the NFL's good graces. But just because you apply for reinstatement doesn't mean that you get reinstated. So he still has a long way to go. And while, and while he can come off of his calendar year, uh, calendar year suspension on November 17th, there's no guarantee that he will do so, especially that early. The last time we saw him get onto the field for the Raiders, the beginning of that stretch, it was an incredible yeah. sequence, right? He got cut by the Niners. Shortly thereafter, he became a Raider. And then within days, he was on the football field. Mm -hmm. He will get reinstated, potentially, if he gets reinstated. The uh, suspension expires a few days before a game. How quickly could we see him? Uh, Supposedly, he is really working hard and that he is in good football shape. Now, I think because of his position, uh, he's more likely to come in and play without much practice just because they can put him off the edge on third down and tell him to go after that quarterback. So he could play quickly. Exactly how much practice time he's going to need is still up in the air, but it's not like he's a quarterback or something like that where, where, where he would need a, a long lead time to get back to action. It's not as big as a headline, but it could be a potentially far more impactful return. Mario Edwards Jr., is he close to being back, Scott? 
I think that we're getting closer to it, but we still haven't seen him on a field yet. Now, he is here in Sarasota. He was seen on Thursday morning, and it's just a matter of him being able to get back through some side work, back to practice, and then move on towards games. Now, he's eligible to come off of IR for that Week 9 game against Denver. I think that's highly unlikely, especially because the Oakland Raiders have a bye after that. So that could be uh, when they play Houston in Week 11 in Mexico City. He could be back there or maybe the week after that. Last week was Jack Del Rio's return to Jacksonville. This is Donald Penn's return to Tampa Bay. How big is this to him? There's definitely some extra juice for Donald Penn because Tampa Bay flat cut him in exchange for somebody else who didn't really work out very well. And, Ton and Donald Penn right now is playing at a Pro Bowl level despite the fact that he's inching towards his mid-30s. And he was saying that he was only going to play through the end of this contract, which ends after next season. Now he's kind of thinking maybe three or four more years. But it, on, on this game upcoming, he definitely wants to stick it to the, to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and show that they made a real mistake by letting him go. All right, take a look. Latavius Murray added to the Pro Bowl last year. You see what he's done so far this year. And even four yards per carry. He's been productive, though. He's got an opportunity to score five touchdowns already in limited time. And here now is Raiders running back Latavius Murray from Sarasota, Florida. Latavius, it was great to see you back last weekend. You missed a couple games previous. Physically, how are you doing now? Uh, it felt good um, just to be able to uh, play again, compete again, uh, be out there with my teammates. Uh, it felt really good, and I was really excited to be back on the field. Well, knowing how much you love being out there, then the other side of that coin, how tough was it to sit and watch while you're hurt? Most definitely. Um, anytime I have to miss something or uh, be out, uh, it's frustrating. You know, I... I I like to say, you know, I try to take care of my body as much as I can so I'm available um, and I know I have to be and, uh, and I want to be. So it was very frustrating uh, just to not be um, out there with my teammates. Another beautiful day there in Florida, it appears. Uh, you've been there the week, the Bucks game, after the Jags game. What's it been like there all week long on the road? You know, I think they've, they've done a good job of uh, allowing us to adjust. Um, the staff and everyone um, just allowed us to adjust, and it's really been the same. You know, other than having to um, take a bus to practice, um, it's really been easy. Uh, the hotel here uh, that we're staying at is beautiful, and so uh, we're adjusting pretty well to it. Uh, it's been a lot of fun and uh, we're enjoying this Florida weather, um, you know, this, this week uh, before we head uh, up to Tampa and get a win. You guys have been great on the road. Uh, an opportunity to, with a win, be 5-0 and oh, uh, on the road, which is just incredible. Uh, does the week just with your teammates help you focus a little easier? I think it does. Um, I honestly think it does because obviously we're, we have to be here together. Uh, we're all staying at the same hotel. No one's going home. Everyone's here in this, in, in this, uh, in this hotel. And so um, I think it's a way to bring us closer together. Um, build the camaraderie you know as we already have but uh, it only can get better and so uh, I think that will uh, definitely carry over this week uh, we go out there and uh, fight together and grind together and uh, put together a good game uh, so we're happy going home of course you went to UCF Central Florida have you had any chance I'm sure you got a lot of friends and family you spent a lot of time there to, to, to catch up with the folks back home yeah, on our off day, I had a, a little bit of time just to hang out with them, uh, spend time with my sister and my dad. And so uh, it, it's been a real cool experience uh, just to be able to come back here and play uh, since I've left um, for, for, for the NFL. And uh, this is my first game back in Florida. So uh, it's been really cool, been really fun. And so uh, I'm glad I got the opportunity to, uh, to do so. This division has looked incredible. I mean, the, the, the quote-unquote worst team in this division, the Chargers, every week is in a close game. And uh, you saw them firsthand already. You know what Kansas City is. You know what Denver is. Is this the toughest division in the league? You know, I think when you look at it top to bottom, um, you got, um, you know, everyone in our division that, um, for one, right now is up for grabs and still has the chance to take it. And so, um, you know, we're well, well aware of that. And I think everyone around the league is, um, you know, uh, with teams in our division, you know, 
uh, all the talent, uh, the defense is, uh, you know, is definitely up there. So, um, you know, I think we, we, we just have to do our job, um, con continue to work, continue to, uh, to get better. Uh, so we uh, win our goal, which is winning the division. And um, it starts with, uh, you know, one game at a time. And so Sunday uh, we need to move closer to that goal. You might have the most entertaining punter in the league on your team, your teammate Marquette King. Low snap, he took it for a first down on a long run against Jacksonville. How much has Marquette been uh, talking about that play? Yeah, Marquette, I think he thinks he's a, a running back now, or he thinks he's something other than a punter now. So we're going to have to bring him uh, back down to earth a little bit. Uh, and it was his birthday. So I think just this whole past weekend has just been uh, quite, quite, quite an experience for Marquette. So um, we, we're going to remind him that he's a punter uh, and the best, one of the best punters in the league. Um, and so uh, he's good at what he does, man. He's an athlete, a fun guy, uh, and I love him as a teammate. So to be clear, could Marquette King line up in the backfield as a running back? No, 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 and I don't, I don't think we plan to. I hope not. Well, I'll probably get some rest, <laughs> get away from home, and relax, you know, before a big game. Fly. I like to fly. It's always fun to go to another city, somebody else's city, and get a win there. That's what I, I probably like that the most. Being able to focus more, you know, lock in, Go still to win. I like the atmosphere and uh, trying to find your own energy in the other cities and other stadiums. It's always fun to me. You have nobody on your back but your teammates and yourself. So you have to find your own way. You have to create your own energy. That's what I love about it. Going to somebody else and taking over. I mean, ain't nothing like it. The crowd start off all out. Next thing you know, they dead silent as you're holding up the dub. players on Oakland's roster having Florida ties. Left tackle Donald Penn gearing up for a not-so-happy homecoming game against the team that cut him in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And, oh yeah, Coach Jack Del Rio, who used to be the head guy in Jacksonville, about to make a quick trip to see his son Luke play quarterback for the Florida Gators. The Raiders' 10-day roadie in the Sunshine State feels like, well, it feels like home. Hey, this is NFL Nation Raiders reporter Paul Gutierrez. And even though the Raiders are sequestered, so to speak, here, they are in a plush waterside resort without the limitations of training camp. Because as linebacker Malcolm Smith said, as a team bonding experience, this Florida venture is much better because players are not fighting for jobs in such a cutthroat environment. Instead, they're coalescing as a group that knows it will take the field together Sunday in Tampa Bay. Hey, even quarterback Derek Carr had to catch himself when he said it feels like a vacation, albeit a business trip inside a holiday. But to Penn, it's more personal. I asked him how big that chip was on his shoulder and facing his former team. He said it's huge. He wasn't going to sugarcoat it, he told me. I ain't going to lie. They let me go only to return to Florida with Oakland. For more on this story and everything else in the NFL, stay logged into ESPN.com. Stayed in Florida because they played Jacksonville last week. They're playing Tampa Bay this week. All right. I got to see more of the Oakland Raiders to, to really believe in them. I know they're on top of their division and they've got some great players out there, but I just think this is a team that can be had, okay? I think that I'm going to pick the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in this one. They stayed in Florida. It's weird how those, those long road trips can really wear on you. It's good for team camaraderie, right. but also it can go the other way. You lose your focus. You're not around your, your comfort zone. I think Jameis Winston has a big game. I'm going to go with the upset and pick the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah, Buccaneers coming back across the coast, too. They were in San Francisco. Francisco last week. For whatever reason, the Raiders are much better on the road since the start of 2015. Eight and four on the road, just four and seven playing in Oakland. Hard to keep that going. This is why they're probably moving to Vegas. If in fact, or the benefits rather, for the Raiders, if in fact Alden Smith is reinstated. Well, Reggie McKenzie, the general manager of the Raiders, told the San Francisco Chronicle that Alden indeed has filed for reinstatement. Why this is big for Oakland is that the weak point for the Raiders this season has been their defense. Their last overall, their last in passing yards, their 30th against the run. Alden Smith, before being suspended for a year for violating the, the, the league's drug policy, was playing very well against the run, and he also has a history as a pass rusher. 
not just Alden, though. If you get him back after his suspension lapses on November 17th, defensive end Mario Edwards is also subject to come off of IR in November. If you can add Mario Edwards, who's a tremendous run player, you can add Alden Smith, another strong run player, all of a sudden the Raiders become that much stronger defensively. We know what their offense is doing this year, particularly with the development of Derek Carr and the way that he's playing. Mm -hmm. You put that, you get that defense playing better, now they become a true contender as opposed to a team that, you know, you say right now will challenge for a playoff spot but has a big hole on defense. Uh, I know that you've made a couple of calls. The challenges of him being reinstated? Look, he's got a history here, and they have to be comfortable. He's come, Reggie McKenzie said he's come out of the drug program. Um, he's gone through rehab. Roger Goodell, now it's up to the commissioner to make the call on this. The commissioner has to be comfortable that Alden will be okay going forward, and Alden has to convince him of that. We know there was a video this, uh, in the offseason with him allegedly smoking a bong, and he went into the program after that. The commissioner has to be sure in his mind that Alton is okay and in a place where he can be successful going forward, not just on the field, but off the field. Um, just like any other defense in the league, um, I know they're going to look at their tape and look at things that we do um, so they can try and stop us. So um, it's going to be a challenge like it is every single week. And, um, a lot of it comes down to us and um, just being physical up front and uh, the back's just hitting the holes. After playing a game and then a week of practice, has the, the toe all responded the way you wanted it to? Yeah, uh, most definitely. I feel, feel feeling even better. Um, compared to this time last week. So, um, again, I'm excited just to be back on the field again and get another chance to play again. What did you think uh, of your uh, Jacksonville game tape after uh, two games out? Um, like I always, any game, I feel, you know, I, there's things that I could do better. Um, I felt for the most part I, 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 I ran the ball well, but um, you know, I, I want to continue to find ways to get better, continue to find ways to um help the offense out, um, be a bigger threat, and uh, just be a weapon, weapon on offense. You've been pretty good down by the uh, goal line. Is there something about being inside the 10 or the 5 that you kind of get a different mindset? Um, <clears throat> no, I think, uh, you know, when you're obviously when you're down there and you're on the goal line situations, um, I have to find ways to get in the end zone. But uh, even when we're not in those situations and we're further out, uh, down out in the field out, uh, again. That's things that I want to improve on is uh, find a way to break some long runs and get in the end zone that way too. So uh, again, I'm continuing to work to do that, um, making guys miss, um, getting to the second level, and uh, getting those big runs. Hey class, Professor Kennedy here with this week's edition of Chalk Talk, brought to you by the Ray Morgan Company. All right, great job by the guys in Jacksonville, coming away with a victory. Very good. That's exactly what you want. I decided let's take a look back at some of the protection issues that we had throughout the year. In the second half of the season, you still got to face Denver twice. You got to face San Diego again, and we know that disaster that happened with Kansas City. So let's see if we can correct some of the things with these guys up front uh, as we look forward to the rest of the season. Now, in this instance, I want to point out the protection issues. Right now, you've got five guys. You've got four defensive linemen in the box. And this is the fifth most dangerous one. So in the philosophy of protection when it comes to the offensive line, Rodney's going to be eyeballing him. It's us five on one, two, three, four, five, okay? Now, as we watch this play develop, it's a simple TE stunt. But what gives is Rodney allows way too much penetration by the nose guard. Ends up being a sack. Now in this next example, I'm going to go back to the San Diego game because that seems to be the one game that the Raiders had the most problems with penetration and protection issues. Now again, Let's take the initial philosophy of the offensive line and the quarterback and the running back in this instance, DeAndre Washington. So you look at the protection, one, two, those two have that triangle, three, four, five. Now, he runs a check with me system. In this instance, he'll, his eyes will go from here as one to here because there's a backup player. You can just see it in the corner of the, in the, the picture. The reason why is that if there's anyone that comes from this side and Rodney has to change the protection, then now these two become the most dangerous and that becomes the back's option to pick up. Now, the philosophy of the protection is going to be sound in this next example. But watch what happens as the play develops. Right guard Gabe Jackson, who's playing way too high, 
gives up way too much of his body. The pocket is collapsed. Derek has no place to step up. And then by the time he's aware of what's going on around him, the Chargers get a sack. So in two examples, we saw the interior protection break down rather quickly. And that cannot happen. Not only do you need sound communication when you're up there at the offensive line as to potential responsibilities blitz in where they're coming from, but you also have to have greater integrity on the interior offensive line, which means the two guards in the centers have got to hold the point of contact and keep these guys out of Derek Carr's face so he can step up in the pocket and make a throw down the field. All right, which brings us to this play, Kansas City game. I know it was a disaster of a game, but let's just look back and figure out how we can get better. In this instance, we'll take a look at the protection. He's got him. He's got him. Center's here. 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 Now, with the safety being down to the hole, the check with me for the back becomes here to double up to there. Okay? Now, as we watch this play develop, you're going to notice that the protection is sound. It's not the protection that breaks down. This one's going to fall on number four, our quarterback. He's going through his progression. Teams are going to play zone. We freeze it right here. Derek sees all of this wide open space. He wants to make a play. He's got the athletic ability to do it. But what he has to be mindful of is that there are plenty of people who are around you. And there are all kinds of times where hands are going to come into view that you don't necessarily see. In this instance, it proves to be detrimental because it's a turnover in the red zone. So what did we learn? We learned it's a team effort. Not only did the center and the offensive line have to be good, the quarterback has to be good as well. It's a team effort and offense that can take you to the next level. The Raiders have done well. They're in the lower part of the league as far as sacks given up, which is a total team effort. Wide receivers, quarterbacks, everybody involved. But it's going to take furthermore and a better part of that effort in the second half of the season. That's it for this week's edition of Chalk Talk. I'm Lincoln Kennedy. I'll see you next week. we got to learn how to win some games at home. We need to let's keep those Raider jerseys out of the lower bowl. Let's get some Bucks jerseys in there. Let's rock that place next week. Let's run up in there, home. Absolute domination, man. We got to protect our house. We got to protect our pride. Hey, let's get the ball. Let's go. Let's go to work. Hey, let's go get this quarterback. Hey, we came all the way to Florida, man. Y'all know we came for, right? We came from that dog, man. Ready to make something, ready to make something, one, two, three. Right, right. Now. Uh, it felt good um, just to be able to uh, play again, compete again, uh, be out there with my teammates. Uh, it felt really good, and I was really excited to be back on the field. Well, knowing how much you love being out there, then the other side of that coin, how tough was it to sit and watch while you're hurt? Most definitely. Um, anytime I have to miss something or uh, be out, uh, it's frustrating. You know, I, I, I like to say, you know, I try to take care of my body as much as I can so I'm available. Um, and I know I have to be and, uh, and I want to be. So it was very frustrating uh, just to not be um, out there with my teammates. Uh, Another beautiful day there in Florida, it appears. Uh, you've been there the week, the Bucks game. After the Jags game, what's it been like there all week long on the road? You know, I think they've, they've done a good job of uh, allowing us to adjust. Um, the staff and everyone um, just allowed us to adjust, and it's really been the same. You know, other than having to um, take a bus to practice, um, it's really been easy. Uh, the hotel here uh, that we're staying at is beautiful, and so uh, we're adjusting pretty well to it. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, and uh, we're enjoying this Florida weather, um, you know, this this week uh, before we head uh, up to Tampa and get a win. You guys have been great on the road. Uh, an opportunity to, with a win, be 5-0 and uh, on the road, which is just incredible. Uh, does the week just with your teammates help you focus a little easier? I think it does. Um, I honestly. Thursday, we in Florida. Don't get much better than this, man. Big game coming up, man. Man, my practice cleats, man. It's my own. Practice nice. You know, I be trying to hit them every week with something different. Done. Done, dollar. Done, dollar. Yeah, we got a lot. Done, dollar. Hey. It's kind of chill, man. You know, most everybody kind of ready to get back to California, but hey. 
uh, you can't beat the weather out here. It's good at this time of year. It's just been a good vibe. Everybody's just really focused on playing the game, really. Another day, man, let's get this hard work in so we can have fun on Sunday. Get that victory, man. That's all that matters. We'll just win, baby. Uh, we're right here in uh, Bradenton, Bradenton, Bradenton uh, issue of Fast Friday. All right, so we're, uh, we're ready to roll. We've had a good week of practice here, and uh, guys have been on point, been very purposeful. I'm on a field yet. Now, he is here in Sarasota. He was seen on Thursday morning, and it's just a matter of him being able to get back through some side work, back to practice, and then move on towards games. Now, he's eligible to come off of IR for that Week 9 game against Denver. I think that's highly unlikely, especially because the Oakland Raiders have a bye after that. So that could be uh, when they play Houston in Week 11 in Mexico City. He could be back there or maybe the week after that. Last week was Jack Del Rio's return to Jacksonville. This is Donald Penn's return to Tampa Bay. How big is this to him? There's definitely some extra juice for Donald Penn because Tampa Bay flat cut him in exchange for somebody else who didn't really work out very well. And, Ton and Donald Penn right now is playing at a Pro Bowl level despite the fact that he's inching towards his mid-30s. And he was saying that he was only going to play through the end of this contract, which ends after next season. Now he's kind of thinking maybe three or four more years. But it, on, on this game upcoming, he definitely wants to stick it to the, to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and show that they made a real mistake by letting him go. All right, take a look. Latavius Murray added to the Pro Bowl last year. You see what he's done so far this year. And even four yards per carry. He's been productive, though. He's got an opportunity to score five touchdowns already in limited time. And here now is Raiders running back Latavius Murray from Sarasota, Florida. Latavius, it was great to see you back last weekend. You missed a couple games previous. Physically, how are you doing? Reinstatement. What is the next step for him? He, he has to prove to NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell that he's passed a number of very stringent guidelines according to the NFL's substance abuse policy. And he went to rehab this summer, and all indications are that he is working very hard to get back in the NFL's good graces. But just because you apply for reinstatement doesn't mean that you get reinstated. So he still has a long way to go. And while, and while he can come off of his calendar year, uh, calendar year suspension on November 17th, there's no guarantee that he will do so, especially that early. The last time we saw him get onto the field for the Raiders, the beginning of that stretch, it was an incredible yeah. sequence, right? He got cut by the Niners. Shortly thereafter, he became a Raider. And then within days, he was on the football field. Mm -hmm. He will get reinstated, potentially, if he gets reinstated. The uh, suspension expires a few days before a game. How quickly could we see him? Uh, Supposedly, he is really working hard and that he is in good football shape. Now, I think because of his position, uh, he's more likely to come in and play without much practice just because they can put him off the edge on third down and tell him to go after that quarterback. So he could play quickly. Exactly how much practice time he's going to need is still up in the air, but it's not like he's a quarterback or something like that where, where, where he would need a, a long lead time to get back to action. It's not as big as a headline, but it could be a potentially far more impactful return. Mario Edwards Jr., is he close to being back, Scott? I think that we're getting closer to it, but we still haven't seen him. About our work in preparing to, uh, to play the Bucks and uh, you know, getting familiar with them. So it's been a real productive week that way and uh, looking forward to the challenges on Sunday. Questions? Yeah, Bucks coaches ask fans not to give lower bowl seats to the Raider fans. Have you noticed? I'm obviously, you noticed the Raider fans on yeah. the road. How big a presence are they? A big presence. Yeah, we we uh, we really uh, appreciate their support. You know, they do it. They do a tremendous job. Our fans travel uh, wherever we've been thus far. They've been there in, in large numbers, and uh, I think it'll be the same. So, come on out, Raider, Raider Nation. We're excited about it. Yeah, Mario out here now. Did you get him out on the side doing any side work. 
Yeah, just on the side until we get the clearance for him to join us in practice. Uh, he'll continue to do with the uh, with the trainers. Wait, was, was he out there on the side today? Did he do anything? Um, like I said, he's with the trainers. He's not. Yeah. He's not been. Yeah. I've not been given the green light, so gotcha. uh, he'll continue to work with them until until we get that green light. With Stacy out, Jack. How important is it for the, somebody else to step up in the middle, in the interior of the defensive line, to get pressure on that on that quarterback? Yeah, very important. You know, Stacy's been playing really good football for us. Uh, he's banged up this week. I think uh, uh, more likely next week for us with him. Uh, but uh, yeah, next guy up. That's what we do. You know, uh, Darius Latham will play more. Danico will play more. Uh, Big Dan will play more. So um, those guys, yeah, do their thing. We expect to play good defense, and uh, we know we've got our challenges this week. In Sarasota, Florida is where we find our Raiders insider, Scott Bear. And let's start with Alden Smith, Scott, on the news that he have applied for